Okay, this one's going to be a little quick, but I think one thing that would be nice in terms of game feel as I continue to build this out is when I hit the play button, I want to fade into the game whenever my player is spawned. And so we're going to do a really quick camera fade just to set that up so that when I press the play button, it'll start black and it'll fade into the game and feel like I'm, I'm waking up or something as we uh, go into the player control. There's lots of places you could put this, but I think it makes the most sense to me if I am obtaining control of a new character that that's when I should see the fade. So I'm going to put that on the character controller. So that's specifically the thing that gets spawned over here. So I click on SS game, this SS character right here. I said controller, um, I meant the, the character. So when the character gets spawned in, we're going to play the fade. So I'm gonna double click. So what I wanna do is I wanna use a node called begin play. So I'm gonna right click, type in begin play. And this event gets called right when this object is created. So in this case, it'll spawn it in at the beginning. We want something to happen. Specifically, I wanna fade my camera. What we need to do to get this working is we need to get access to the something called the player camera manager. The active camera may change based on different events inside the level, and we could force that change if we want. But in order to do a fade, we want to get the active player camera and we want to fade in from black. So if we right click, say get player camera manager like that. If I try to right click and just say start camera fade, it's not going to recognize it. So it is really important that for you to understand that you only get access to certain functions if you pull off of a return value. So in this case, we're getting the object from the player camera manager. And from that, we can access certain methods on this object that we don't normally get access to. So for example, the start camera, fit, right? So then we're going to connect it up like that. Now we want to start from black, meaning if you hover over this, one is fully opaque solid color. So we'll say one, so start at one, right? From alpha one, zero is transparent. You can choose a duration. You could, you know, make a variable for this. I, we'll just put it in here, it's fine. Uh, but you could later on if you want. So fade in over two seconds, and then let's hold the transparency when we're finished. But I think even if I don't check this, it'll still function as we want. So hold when finished, color is black by default. I think that's fine. We could fade audio if we want, but we don't really have anything relevant to that right now. So we'll keep that unchecked. So that's all we need really. If we compile and we save, we come back into our scene, hit play. You see how our camera just has that subtle fade from black into open. It just feels a lot nicer when we hit the play button and we start playing the game, we can start moving around it. Like it feels like we're opening our eyes into a new character, uh, which is just kind of a cool little feeling. So a little game feel thing there for you just as we start to build this out, we'll make this feel good as we go.